Next is we're going to choose a trigger. And we're going to choose a trigger without a size. I'm going to put it in front of the notice board, double click it, and we're going to adjust its size. So we're going to put five, two, and two, make a rectangle. And under activation, we're going to set any player and activation type is going to be present and then you're going to want to set it to repeatable so every time you enter that trigger then you get the effect or the thing that happens that we're going to set this up for left squiggly bracket and then underscore x base and then set damage damage is going to have a, a capital d and you're going to press space zero right squiggly bracket and then space for each space this capital L list and then a semicolon and then space now what we're gonna put after this is a hint and this hint will give us feedback that we've been healed even though we'll know that we're healed but we're, we're gonna use this for heat feedback so we're gonna put hint space and then quote you are healed and an exclamation point end it with a quote and then you're going to put a semicolon and that's it that's the code and then we're going to hit okay that sets up the code for the trigger and the trigger but we're going to just adjust the trigger size and direction and so forth. right so we're going to save that heal or trigger save that and let's test it out as you can see i have an icon on the screen if i scroll my action menu it says treat yourself and of course you can see the blood on my character's uniform so let's walk into the trigger stumble into the trigger you are healed so a hint will pop up says you are healed doesn't say treat me anymore and the character is cleaned up AI should be able to get healed too. That's if you adjust the trigger to anybody. If you adjust it to anybody, then anybody that enters the trigger will be healed. But we set it to player, so any player can enter the trigger and be healed.